Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan here. Welcome to another game update. Today is July 14th. Yes. Anyways, today's July 14th. Uh, a couple things. Got. I, I know I'm a little bit late with my game update today, but uh, as it turns out, not a whole lot going on in July. Uh, not a whole lot has has gone on in July. And why do I say has? Because I will tell you things that I did do recently. That I that I because normally what I do is do this early in the month before any releases come out, so I can let you guys know what to expect. But I had to do a couple things before I could. Um, get to this. I was pretty busy with a lot of gameplay, so let's just get started. Um, first thing I did uh, was the um, the DLC for Elie Noir, the uh, uh, Reefer Madness DLC. Uh, it's it's up there, you can go take a look at it. It was an alright DLC. I feel kind of dumb, because like, immediately after beating it, I replayed it, trying to get the 5 star rating. And now, since I had beat it the first time, I had a bit of a cheat sheet, but not really, because instead of going straight to the place, I went to the, I took the long route, and you, the story is way, mo way more in depth when you take that route, because I went there and I, had, there were a, way, a, a little bit more evidence to do. You actually took a tour of that factory of the, uh, the guys who make the soup. You took a tour of the factory, and the, the owner or whatever, he, he shows you around. You ask, you interrogate him. Not only did I get every single thing on my first try 100% correctly, but it extended the game, the DLC, by I think about maybe 20 minutes or so, uh, which was good because well, 15 or so, 15, 20 minutes. So that's an extra part you could have seen. Um, so it was unfortunate that I just went for the trophies. It was kind of selfish, but then again, think of it this way. Um, yes, I went for trophies. But a lot of you are probably like, well, I prefer trophies than getting a five star. Or that doesn't even get you anything, right? Because you don't get anything for five star in the DLCs. So I just like doing it because it's completion. You know what I mean? Get game completion. So it was a better experience second time around for me. Unfortunately, I never, I should have went for it because it would have been a lot more interesting. But oh well, it, same outcome. It doesn't make much of a difference except for the fact that you you get introduced to the factory owner, so the company owner too, I believe. So. That's that. Um, so check that out if you want. Now, as well, now for a while, I was unsure if I was going to do a particular game. People were asking me about it. I looked at it before, and people were asking me, hey, are you going to do this? And I'm thinking, I really don't know. Then I had forgotten that uh, on the day of the Eleanor DLC, uh, the demo for it came out. And I'm, of course, talking about Catherine. Catherine basically is a, is a very unique Japanese game. It's kind of like a cross between uh, some sort of a anime, between a puzzle and an erotic game, and a thriller at the same time. So basically you got this this uh, anime style, uh, um, what am I trying to say here? Anime style, puzzle, platformer, erotic, th thriller game uh, <laughs> that uh, is definitely unique. Like, I've never seen anything like this game. I mean, yes, it's a puzzle game, but the puzzle game, it stands out from others, trust me. So, since I did have a, a, quite a bit of fun playing the demo, um, like, not, it wasn't mainly for the gameplay. The gameplay was pretty good. I have to say, it was, it was unique, and that's what piqued my interest a little bit. But what I let, enjoyed more was the storyline, and, and not only that, but how funny these guys' reactions were. Like, I remember there's this one scene. It showed, like, you know, clips of the, ga of the game. Basically, this, the, of the story behind the game. It's not spoiled or anything, you guys, okay? So, it is the entire plot. It even says in the freaking plot of the game what it's about. So, it's not spoiling. It's the whole nature. Basically, what's happening, your girlfriend, Catherine, with a K, K-A-T, is uh, your long-term girlfriend, like, of five years or something like that, is kind of pressuring you into marriage, you know, telling you, okay... Uh, my friends are getting married, A lot, all, half of them have kids, and you know, it pushes the pressure on you. Now, not only does that, in, like, you can, it's kind of like a decisions affect the outcome game. So basically you'll talk, um, you could, like, for example, in the demo from what I saw, where there were text messaging between you and her, and depending on what you said, you'd get good or bad karma, or you'd be good or bad. Now, the whole time I thought I was getting evil karma, because I was kind of looking at the screen, but it looked like it was, it was doing, you know, going back down, but really it was just flinging up and then kind of re Smacking back now. As weird as that sounds. So I thought I was getting the evil, evil conversation when I was really getting the good one. 
So <laughs> I kept looking at it, and the people were like, Dan, don't worry, you got it. And I looked back at it, and I'm like, oh, I did. What was I smoking? So uh, I don't know. But regardless, to answer everyone's question, yes, I will be doing Catherine. It releases on July 26th. That is a Tuesday, like all releases. So that should be entertaining. Hopefully, I'm not disappointed. Now, there's a couple things I want to say, or about it, really. I was looking on games, uh, GameStop website, GameStop EBA, same thing. Um, there's pretty much two different versions for Catherine, and I was a little shocked about it. Now, if you guys know, Catherine was released as a, um, was released in Japan, I think, in February of this year, or January even, I don't remember when it was, but I'm thinking February, in Japanese. Now, this is the English translated version, so... It is a complete Japanese game developed by Atlas, I believe the, the developer's name is. Uh, so it's definitely an interesting looking game. Now, as I was saying before, I never really completed it. Like I said, your girlfriend, you know, you're chatting with her, she, you know, things affect it. And all of a sudden, these uh, random young men keep disappearing. And as it turns out, um, well, we don't really know anything of it yet, but all we know is um, that Catherine, I'm not talking about the girlfriend, there's this girl named Catherine, the, the title character with the C. She's this blonde bimbo who pretty much stumbles upon you and sleeps with you even though you are taken. So basically, as punishment, in your nightmares, this happened to a lot of other men too, they are, you, you have to basically escape from this, like, these hands who are making you like, run up this wall. And funnily enough, she was wielding a fork. And I, that made me laugh so friggin' hard. I'm just looking at this fork. I'm like, really? A fork? That's all you could grab? At least something more related to the story like... Um, I don't know, something sharp like, uh, I don't know, whatever, maybe tweezers at least, because that would make sense, because you know how women are about their appearance, maybe they tweeze their eyebrows, I don't know, something like that would have been a lot more suiting than a fork, but a fork is hilarious, a blood-coated fork the size of like, a, I don't know, like a battering ram, it was just so funny, and then, like I was going back to it, at the ending cutscene that usually draws your interest in the game, um, they have like a cutscene that takes a lot of game scenes, from later on in the game or from in the storyline. For example, uh, it shows uh, Catherine with a C uh, kind of feeling him up at the bar. I can't remember the name. Of it. It's like the dead sheep or the, the sheep something, sheepskin bar or something that he hangs out at. She's feeling him up, kind of kissing him and shit. And then he wakes up next to her, you know, and the expression on his face is priceless. Like you should see it. He's just like, <laughs> and the sounds. Like, the, 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 the voiceovers for it, oh my god, I was just laughing so hard. It was the funniest thing. Like, I mean, and if I can expect more of that, because this guy is, a, like, this main character is such, this Vincent, I believe his name is, he's extremely pathetic, and it's so funny, because I would never do that if I, like, to, to my girlfriend, honestly, never. It would just be, you know, because after five years of marriage, or after dating them for someone for five plus years or whatever it is, I think it's kind of sound that you guys know each other long enough and it's important it's probably a good idea to get married but this guy's still questioning like an idiot so <laughs> that's that's what I'm gonna do that's gonna be Catherine now that's on the 26th like I said now the day before that July 25th yeah, apparently the Res uh, resistance 3 beta goes live so you'll see that first um since Monday I yeah wait no shit I'm trying to remember something I don't, damn it, I don't know if I get, no, I think that might work out, I think I have to get, uh, I think I asked for Tuesday on, like, I mean, I work Tuesday, normally I get them off, because I have some stuff coming up, which I'll explain in just a sec here, but anyways, Resistance will be, Resistance 3 Beta is apparently going live on the Monday, now, which is the 25th, now, if uh, I don't get enough parts done, and Catherine then comes out, I might have to pick up Resistance later on like later on in the week, but the thing is about that is uh, the Splinter Cell Trilogy releases on the 2nd. Now I don't have a calendar, I want to check what day the 2nd is, because I just realized a bunch of things here. The 2nd is a Tuesday, okay. Yeah. Hold on. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I was sorry, I was, I was on the glue here. Actually, no, yeah. No, damn it! Think for a sec. July 26. It comes out. Okay, no, never mind. I have the 26th off. Sorry, I was mixing it up here. Uh, it was the the second that I have to work. That's right. 
So the second is the day of the Splinter Cell Trilogy release. Now, I won't be able to do the Splinter Cell Trilogy um, until later on, because like I said, I'll be working that day. Because, okay, this is how it's going to go. On the... Tw hmm. I, okay, here's the thing. I'm hoping... Okay, on the 22nd of July, meaning next Friday, uh, I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed. So basically, I have the Friday and the Saturday off, because that way I'm working this Tuesday so that uh, I don't use up all my vacation time, you know what I mean? Um, I'll be getting them off, so basically, sat Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll be recuperating. And, and Monday, when uh, I get that, you know, when Resistance comes back, goes live, I'll be able, I'll be able to commentate fine. Because if you guys don't know, wisdom teeth removal can really hurt. <laughs> like, the, like not the not the, uh, the the actual procedure, but the healing process can suck because your cheeks pretty much get all swollen. I probably sound like both when I'm talking, so it will be really very I'm professional and I sound like a total ding ding back. So it's not a good idea. So hopefully I'll be healed by then. But if not, well, you have to bear with me. But I should be, and I should be able to talk just fine. It just might hurt a little bit. Regardless, that's the schedule for this month. Oh, well, let me just look how much time I have left. Uh, yeah, okay, I have, I'm 11 minutes in, so I have a little bit of time to explain. I added a couple games uh, to the list, and a couple games have changed dates like I normally do. This is what I do towards the end of the game updates. Uh, first thing um, that changed, uh, let me think. Right, Battlefield 3. Everyone's been asking, are you doing it, are you doing it? I didn't put it on my list yet. That's getting done. That's October 26th, I think. Maybe the 25th. Maybe the, I think it's the 25th. I could be wrong. Uh, it's there. You can check the list on my channel description there. Um, what else? Um, so, fuck. Hold on a sec. I have it right here, guys. Let me just check. Um, Battlefield 3. Yeah, it's pretty generic stuff. Oh, yeah, Driver San Francisco is coming out on the 30th. I'll be doing that. Um, right, and, oh, guess what, guys? Whoa, Nelly, I almost tripped on all this power shit. Um, Hitman has a solid release date, and it's in 2011. Technically, it comes out December 31st, 2011. Yes, I know, right on the edge there. But, um, it counts, and I am so excited. I loved Hitman Blood Money. It was such an amazing game to me, and I, I can't wait for this one. And another game that was added, because it also has a solid release date, is the new SSX game that is coming out in January. I believe it's January 10th. Yes, January 10th, 2012 will be the release of the new XSS, SSX, which is what? They originally named it SSX uh, Dark Descent, I think, or something. So they, they're going in a new direction. I loved SSX Tricky, and it's one of my favorite games to date. And I, I, I never really got back into the SSX games, but maybe this one will help me. So. That's it for the game update, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the footage coming up, and I hope you watch and participate. So, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later.